Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekend love reading. Um, this is going to be for July 17th through the 19th. These readings are time stamped, so you can find the time stamps in the description box below. Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. So let's get started, guys. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your, uh, I was about to say daily, <laughs> your weekend love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Happy birthday to my Cancerians. This is going to be the last weekend of Cancer season. I hope you guys live it up. All right, my love. So if you uh, don't know, I did start a cancer only channel. It is called Cancer Baby Tarot. So if you would like to join the Cancer Baby family, um, the link is below. Okay, so let's see what we have for you here today, Cancer. <coughs> Spirit, what messages do we have? I think Joy or at least wanted to pop out. What messages do we have today for my cancers, please? For July 17th through the 19th. Despondence. What's going on here, Cancer? I just said live it up and you guys are depressed. What's going on? So we've got passion and forgiveness. Kind of get the get, I'm kind of getting this energy here that somebody here wants to be forgiven, and because that is not coming, that forgiveness is not coming. Someone here is not doing well because of that. So I don't know if that's you, Cancer, or if somebody is coming to you wanting to apologize, and because you're not forgiving, um, well, let's put it this way: you're not forgiving and taking them back. Okay, uh, this person is not doing well. Despondence is like straight up depression. Okay, like this person is having trouble functioning without you. Spirit, what messages do we have for my cancers? July 17th through the 19th. So we have the star. That's a beautiful card. Aquarian energy. We have the eight of swords. We have the seven of wands. And we have the Six of Cups. We have the Death card, Scorpionic Energy. And we have the Three of Cups. Okay, so Cancer, exactly as I said, pretty much. So we have the Six of Swords, the Page of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Six of Wands. Ooh, baby. Damn. Okay. All right, so... Wow. what we have here, the star and the eight of swords. Someone here still has a lot of hope for this connection. Okay. They still have a lot of hope for this connection. They still hope that you can forgive them or that there will be a second chance. They're very stuck in their head about you here, cancer. Okay. Now you are pushing away anything from the past. You just don't want to be bothered. I'm going to stop putting the cards. I want you guys to see the cards, but when I put them too close, it's like it goes blurry. So anyways, um, the Seven of Wands and the Six of Cups, someone here is pushing away anything from the past. They don't want to be bothered with past issues here. I feel that that's you, Cancer, okay? We have the Death card, Scorpionic Energy, and the Three of Cups. So what I find interesting here, Cancer, is number one, your feelings about reconciling with this person have changed. Um, number two, you may have find out, found out about a third party situation that has changed. Or Cancer, for some of you, you may have started dating someone new and you just don't have feelings for this person anymore, okay? Because um, I see the outcome here. We have the Six of Swords, which is you moving on, moving away from this toxic energy. We have the Page of Wands, Leo Sag Aries energy. We have the Queen of Wands and we have the Six of Wands. This is you having victory, Cancer. Okay, this is you having victory. I feel like you started talking to somebody that makes you feel really good about yourself, Cancer. Okay, you started talking to somebody that makes you feel sexy, that makes you feel alive, that compliments you, that makes you see your own worth and if, if, if they're feeding your ego. You, I feel like you have left and you have moved on to somebody here that makes you just feel really good about yourself. And with the Three of Swords and the Devil card here and the Two of Cups, okay, we have somebody here who has been left behind in love, obsessed, okay, uh, and heartbroken. Now, I'm not going to make this person out to be all innocent because I'm sure that if you left them behind, you know, this person may have had some toxic characteristics here. OK, they may have had some toxic, toxic characteristics. I mean, let's not forget they are coming in with an apology. This person may have been very stubborn, may have been unemotional. This person may have put you in competition with other people. Yeah, they were they were trying to juggle 
an empress here. This person had an empress and they were like, oh, I wonder if anything else is out there. No, nothing else is out there. You're dealing with the damn empress. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, this person just didn't see your worth, Cancer. So I feel like you moved on and maybe you went on a date with somebody that really makes you feel good. I'm getting a lot of passion with this new person. Oh, let go of control issues. It's safe for you to love. Worth waiting for. Under the deck, we have codependency. Oh, someone here wants forgiveness. And they want forgiveness for being, you know, in a third party or for being a hoochie. You know what I'm saying? Someone here likes to flirt, likes to meet new people, and they want forgiveness for it. This person is coming in saying, please, please, please take me back. I'll, I'll marry you. I'll be committed. I'll be committed. But I don't know if this person is really being honest. I got to be honest with you, you know, because it seems like they have an issue. I feel you're done trying to control the situation. And when I say control the situation, you know, when you don't trust someone and you're like, well, I want to see your phone and I want to see that. And I want to see it like you're done trying to um, feel like you have to control somebody so that you don't get hurt. You're willing to wait for a situation here where you feel safe and you feel like you can trust the situation. And I feel like the person that you're rejecting is not going to take this well. This person is going to be, is going to might fall into a mild depression. Well, what are you going to do? I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekend love reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for July 17th through the 19th. So, my loves, let's see what we have going on here. Messages for my Scorpios, please. July 17th through the 19th. So, we have perfection. Ooh, Scorpio. Nice. So, you may be meeting somebody this weekend. Red may... I'm getting red. Like, there's a lot of red here. And for some reason, I feel like that's a lot of passion. And I feel like maybe somebody might be wearing red lipstick or have a red shirt on. Maybe drive a red car. Maybe wearing red headband or something. There's something with red here. Um... I feel like there's somebody here that really, I don't want to say feeds the ego, but you feel appreciated by this person. Like this person makes you feel appreciated. It's like, it's like this person really sees who you are and enjoys being around you. Okay. So let's see here. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Scorpios for July 17th through the 19th? So we have the Ace of Wands. Now well, that's a new passionate beginning. We've got the Knight of Cups. There you are, Scorpionic energy. We have the Judgment card. Why is this so out of focus? Hold on. Why is it? There we go. Okay. We have the Judgment card. Sagittarian energy. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Fool, Aries Energy. And we have the Nine of Swords. Okay, so let's see here. Under the deck, we have the Hanged Man, Piscean, Temperance Energy, uh, Sagittarian. We've got the world under the deck, the Five of Swords, the Nine of Cups, and the Ace of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. Okay. So Scorpio, you're either going on a date because I see you on a horse here. So someone is taking you out and I feel like this is a new person. Okay, you're going out, you're having fun here. Now it could just be with friends, but I feel like, you know, I feel like you're going out to have some fun here. I, I mean, it's romantic. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this is a romantic new relationship here. There's a lot of passion. There is a lot of passion. Okay, like when you meet this person for the first time, there's going to be instant chemistry, instant, okay? I feel that uh, we have judgment card with the seven of pentacles. So this other person is in a situation here where they are in the process of releasing the past, okay? Someone here is realizing that they've made mistakes in the past. They've made some bad judgment calls. Um, this person may be, uh, you know, just going through a lot. Maybe, you know, you're free 
one person here is free and and ready to like love and give love and and passion the other person is still in the process of making a final decision to release the past okay so we have the nine of swords and we have the fool so i feel aries energy here we have somebody here that's kind of going through a hard time because they're trying to get revved up to start a new beginning to take that leap of faith to to start over okay so we've got the hanged man piscean energy temperance and the world so i feel pisces uh, excuse me pisces well, we could be dealing with the Pisces. That's why we've got Hangman here. Um, so Scorpio, I feel like there's going to be a meeting this weekend. One person is going to see the other person as sheer perfection. Okay. Now the other person may feel that energy too, but moreover, they are going through a hard time because they are ending a relationship. So there's an energy here of needing to have a lot of patience for one cycle to completely close out for a new one to begin. Okay. But I feel that, yeah, see with the five of swords, somebody here has to leave something behind behind fully uh, to move towards their nine of cups and their ace of cups. Now, this is a 10 of cups energy here. Okay. So Scorpio, you may find yourself in this beautiful uh, 10 of cups relationship sooner than you realize. You just have to give up on something here. That three of pentacles, this is going to be a connection that really works and has a solid foundation. So there's going to be a meeting this weekend. I feel like this is going to be new. Okay. I feel like this is going to be new. And I feel like one person is going to be all in head over heels thinking that, you know, you're perfect or you're going to think they're perfect. Um, and the other person is still kind of getting over a breakup. Okay, so there's going to be a level of patience that's needed here. All right. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have for my Scorpios, please? Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Scorpios. So we have wedding. For some of you, somebody may be getting divorced. We have keep an open mind. Yes, yeah, somebody here may may have uh, may have been married and they're separated and they're just getting back into the dating field here. Or somebody here maybe was in a very um, deep connection, like a deep soul tie, like living with somebody, a very a very strong connection with someone for a long time, and they're in the process of healing. Okay, they're trying to put themselves out there. They're trying to give um, to give it a chance. Okay, they are. You know, say so they're trying to give themselves a chance to put themselves out there but you have to tread patiently with this person okay i love you guys bye hello my loves welcome to your weekend love reading for pisces sun moon rising and venus signs for july 17th through the 19th so my loves let's get started holy spirit what the i can't speak holy spirit angel spirits and guys pisces you may run into a situation where you're a little taken aback somebody like you lose your voice or your train of thought holy spirit what clarity and guidance what love messages do we have today for my pisces like there i just got that energy where i couldn't speak like you know like when you kind of lose your breath a little bit so ooh, who's leaving you breathless this weekend here pisces so we've got workaholic pisces why am i not surprised all right so so I'm kind of getting this energy of somebody here. Okay, I feel like somebody is going to see you as a major workaholic here, or you may see your person like that. And it, it drives the other person crazy because it makes you mysterious. Like you talk a lot about work, but they want to know about you. Okay, this person wants the relationship to grow. They want to know more about you. Um, you know what I'm saying? And it's, it, this person's impatient to get to know you, Pisces. Okay. And I feel like they're a little getting a little impatient and aggravated here because, you know, I guess they wanted to rush this to move forward. And you're kind of like being a little mysterious by not opening up fully. Spirit, what messages do we have for my Pisces, please? July 17th. So we have the four of pentacles. Not surprised there. <laughs> not surprised at all. Uh, and the two of pentacles. Okay. We have the moon very mysterious Pisces. We're all mysterious this weekend. And the three of cups. Okay. Let's see here. We have the king of cups, Piscean energy, could be Scorpionic or Cancerian. And the lovers, Gemini energy. Very nice. Okay. So we have the emperor, Aries Taurus energy. We have the hanged man. Um, we have the nine of swords and we have the 10 of cups. Under the deck, we have the Fool, Aries Energy, and the Seven of Cups. Okay, so Pisces, here's the deal. 
we have one person here that's holding back because with the two of pentacles this person either is not sure if they should open up or they're not sure about the person in general okay so we have someone here that's holding back because there's a sense of i don't know if i should trust this person or not okay now on this side here this person loves it this person finds it so entertaining that you are mysterious like it's almost like their heart is their heart is racing to the point that they can't catch their breath because they they can't get enough of wanting to know more about you. Like this person is going to constantly want to meet you, see you, be around you because they want to know more about you. Um, the outcome here, we have a very strong soulmate connection here, guys. We have somebody who mirrors your energy. So what that that's good because we have somebody that you know. If you like to work, they like to work. If you like to do this, uh, you guys have a lot in common. I feel like this, you and this person have a lot in common. So this person here, though, has to restrain themselves. They have to stay in control. They have to have patience. They have to wait. And it's freaking killing them because this person already sees you as their Ten of Cups. Someone here, like, knew instantly that you are their Ten of Cups, okay? But I feel that your energy might be one of you're not really sure if you're ready to move forward or move on, okay? Um, you may, right now, maybe you're you're juggling two people or you're moving on from somebody from the past, um, or maybe you just have a lot of work. Maybe you're opening your own business and you're not really sure if you wanna get into a full-blown relationship right now. That's possible too, okay? All right, guys, let's see here. Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Pisces? So we have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. We have you deserve love. And we have codependency. Okay, Pisces. So I feel like you're throwing yourself into, the, into your work here, Pisces. And I feel like this is a message from Spirit. Okay, because we've got pay attention to the red flags. <clears throat> This is why you're coming off so mysterious to this person, because you have it stuck in your head that you're just never going to get the love that you deserve. You maybe are coming out of a situation here where somebody destroyed your self-esteem and spirit is telling you that you have to forgive this person and learn a lesson from this, that you should never allow anybody to cross boundaries. You know, I, I'm getting strong boundaries here, Pisces. You cannot let people, you have to have your own space. No matter how close you are to somebody, there are certain things that people should not be able to enter. And when people talk down to you or say certain things to you that affect your self-worth in that way, they're crossing boundaries. And if you allow that in and stay in that connection, it's going to destroy you. So you are coming out of a, a relationship here where someone here destroyed your self-esteem it was very toxic okay and you have to forgive this person and learn pay attention to the red to the red flags because you do not want to destroy something that is good and stable you know that ten of cups is a beautiful energy you don't want to just allow this toxicity from your past to destroy the future okay pisces i love you and i'll see you soon Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekend love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for July 17th through the 19th. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Virgos, please? Impasse. Okay, Virgo, we're having some blockages here. What's happening? Okay. So somebody here wants to end something. One person wants to end a relationship and one person is trying to stop the ending from happening. Okay, so let's see here. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Virgos, please? Clarity, guidance, love messages Ooh, for my Virgos. Okay, so we've got the Knights of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. And we have the tower, Aries, Scorpionic energy. We have the high priest, Taurus energy. And we have the ace of swords. Oh boy. We have the chariot, Cancerian energy. And we have the six of cups. Under the deck, we have the Seven of Wands, the Justice card, Libra energy, the Sun card, Leo energy, the Four of Sor Swords. Yeah. All right. So here's the deal, Virgo. <coughs> We've got one person here that's a player. 
Okay, we've got one person here that sees something shiny. I need to touch it. I just got to go touch it. And that is making the tower fall here. Okay, this is not, you can't build a tower on a Knight of Wands energy because it's going to fall 100%. So this person is non-committal. This person is all over the place. You can't trust anything they say. And, you know, I feel like this person is coming to the realization of I am way too grown for this shit. I'm traditional, I'm old school, I'm looking for something solid, I'm looking for, you know, maybe you don't want to get married right now, but you want to have a relationship that, you know what I'm saying, leads there, you know what I'm saying, like eventually you know that this person is good wife or husband material, and you're realizing that you guys are way too different. With the chariot and the six of cups, though, we have this ex coming back. Okay, we have this X coming back. I feel like with the Seven of Wands and the Justice card, someone here is coming. They want to fight for this connection. They're sorry. Um, but I feel like they're realizing here that with that Four of Swords, this isn't someone here is done. That Four of Swords, somebody here wants to heal. Someone here is happy or alone. This may be someone's karma. Okay, it may be someone's karma. Um, but I feel like with the Star card and the King of Swords and the High Priestess, We've got Aquarian energy here, Cancer Piscean energy. Someone here is being divinely guided to not open up to this connection. Someone feels like their intuition, that they're being just divinely guided to not let this back in. So Virgo, there's definitely blockages here. So you place yourself as it resonates. Either someone wants to reconcile with you and you're blocking it out or vice versa. Spirit, what clarity, what guidance do we have for my Virgos here, please, Spirit? We have passion, allow your heart, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy, calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And we have religious factors. So guys, what I'm feeling here, yeah, someone here is releasing the X. They're releasing it. I feel like somebody here wants to heal and move on to real love. What I'm getting here is that we have someone here that is calling in a true soulmate. Somebody wants to have real chemistry, a real spiritual connection with somebody. And we've got one person here that's in a very low vibrational energy that just dry, lust drives this person. Oh, are you shiny? I want to touch you. It doesn't matter. Like someone here is on a whole different spiritual level. Like someone here is looking for a higher uh, uh, connection with somebody, a soulmate, something that's solid. Meanwhile, this person is just like, you know, if you look good, you feel good, you smell good, I'm touching you. You know what I'm saying? Like that's it. That's it's two totally different energies. Okay. And someone is realizing or coming to that clarity that we are two very different people and there's no way this is going to work. Okay. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekend love reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for July 17th through the 19th. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have for my Capricorns? July 17th through the 19th. So we've got wisdom, Capricorn. Okay, so we may be uh, making... Oh, okay, so Capricorn, if you're unsure about something, you may be finding out the answer. Okay, you may be finding out the answer. You may be learning something today. Lessons may be learned today. Spirit, what messages do we have today from the Capricorns, please? Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Capricorns, please. Holy Spirit, and just spirits and guidance, love messages, clarity, guidance. So we have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Four of Cups. We have the Nine of Cups. We have the Star, Aquarian Energy. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so let's see what we have here. The Ace of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the World. Oh boy. All right, so Capricorn, I feel like as normal, you've been investing a lot of time in the workplace, okay? I mean, you've just been working. You haven't been paying attention to things like you just, you know, head in the sand working, okay? And with the Four of Cups and the Nine of Cups, I feel like your person got really lonely, very lonely, very unhappy, very unsatisfied, and with the Nine of Cups, decided to go pursue their desires elsewhere okay with the star and the wheel of fortune um 
I feel like this was just simply divinely guided to happen. It was just destined to happen this way, okay? This connection obviously wasn't strong enough to stand this test. We have Aquarian energy here. Ace of Wands, somebody here took on a new lover because with the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy, someone here straight up felt alone, okay? You may have been working a lot, Capricorn, a lot, and you may be finding out that your person has a lover and we've got the world card, so we have something ending. But you know what? I feel like you're taking it peacefully. I feel like it doesn't Sagittarian energy. I feel like you have so much on your plate that you're just like, okay, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't really phase you. So let's see here. Spirit, what clarity and guidance? What love messages do we have here? Ooh, we have religious factors. Okay. We have flirt and we have children. Okay. So what might have happened here is somebody may have had a soul contract with you. You could have been married to this person. You know what I'm saying? There could have been, a, you know, someone here basically had a commitment to you and they cheated. We have flirting here. We have them starting a new beginning with someone else, maybe even getting pregnant by someone else. Um, this person, maybe, you know, maybe it started off as playful, um, but this person met someone else. You see how we have three people there and it could have been a soulmate. All right. And this all happened while you were at work. So, you know, and I feel like it doesn't really bother you, though. I feel like you're just too busy to care. <laughs> okay. I love you. Bye. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekend love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for July 17th through the 19th. Holy Spirit, what messages do we have for my Taurus? Release Taurus. Oh, you guys are getting rid of something here. Somebody's getting rid of something. Okay. So we have despondence under the deck here. I don't know why this keeps on going blurry. I'm sorry, guys. But anyways, despondence. So I feel like somebody here is a little miserable because they know they have to let something go. Okay, I don't know if that's you, Taurus, or I don't know if it's your person. But someone here is like, man, you know, I see the red flags. I know this isn't going to work. This really sucks. I got to let this go, you know. But they're not happy about it, you know. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Taurus, please? July 17th through the 19th, we have the Three of Swords. This is a painful realization happening here, guys, possibly third party. We have the Empress, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy. We have the Ace of Wands. And we have the Five of Cups. Okay. We have the Ace of Pentacles. And we have the Three of Cups. We have the Moon, the Two of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles under the deck with the Queen of Swords. Okay, so Taurus, here's the deal. Here's the deal, okay? Somebody here broke your heart. Somebody here, you're an Empress here, and they're putting you in a third-party situation, and you don't have the time. You really just don't have the time, you know? This person may feel guilty for talking to someone else or for having sex with someone else, but, you know... That doesn't, you know, sorry is great, but it's, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? You proceeded in towards having a third part, a third party. I can't trust you now. You know what I'm saying? You're talking to other people. You're dating other people. You're having sex with other people. I can't trust you now with the moon card and the two of pentacles. Every time you go out or you're not in my sight, I don't know what you're doing. Cancer Piscean energy here. And with the king of pentacles, why do I have to sit here? You know what I'm saying? Taurus energy being solid, loyal, and stable when I have no idea what's happening. So you're going to protect your abundance. You know, you're coming in as an empress here, Taurus, so you may be the one making more money here. And someone's like, listen, I'm not going to keep investing my money, my time, and my abundance into somebody that I can't trust. I'm not, I'm just not doing that. You know what I'm saying? So that's it. Even though it sucks, and even though you love this person, and even though you don't want to, it's time to release. So sometimes, you know, you have to protect, you have to protect yourself. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Taurus? reconciliation yeah this person wants to make this work they want to say they're sorry they want to express their love now they're saying that they're going to commit you understand and under the deck i feel like yeah this person passionately does want it they really do feel bad i have to say they do feel bad they do feel bad and if they come back it is possible that they may be serious about committing to you, but the trust is broken here you know so i don't know taurus you take it as it resonates okay i love you guys Hello, my loves. <clears throat> Excuse me. Welcome to your weekend love reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for July 17th through the 19th. Spirit, what messages do we have for my Aquarius? We have Miracle. Ooh, nice Aquarius. 
miracles are always welcome. So maybe you were wanting somebody to push you away. Okay. Maybe you were wanting somebody to push you away here, Aquarius. Yeah. Maybe there, maybe you were kind of pushing towards an ending to happen here. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Aquarians, please? So we have the five of swords. We have the strength card, Leo energy. We have the high priestess, Cancer Piscean energy. And we have the six of wands. We have the judgment card, Sagittarian energy. And the ace of wands. Okay. So Aquarius, someone here is finally saying that they want to pull back and walk away from this. Okay. That they want to pull back and walk away from this Leo energy. Secretly, this is a victory for you. Like, you're not going to show this person, but secretly, you're like, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, with the judgment card and the ace of wands, you've already really made a judgment call that you want to move out, move away. Maybe, you know, just uh, you want a new lover, a new life, whatever. You you just want new here. You just want to get away from this. Under the deck, we have the Empress, the Three of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, um, and the Five of Pentacles in the world. You've been wanting to leave this anyway because you've already been seeing with the Three of Swords and the you've already been seeing someone else you already have your eye you like already know who you want to be with you know what i'm saying so it works for you and it's a miracle like you know you've you've wanted to get out of this relationship and it just kind of falls in your lap and you're like oh my gosh this is like a blessing so if you've been praying for relief from this you're gonna get it so we've got flirt extend your lighthearted energy to others we have romantic feelings and we have it safe for you to love under the deck we have this could be the one deception. Okay, so I feel like you met someone new here or you fell in love with somebody new and you really want to give this a chance. But the problem is you've been cheating with this person and you know that they are the one. You know this third party is the one. Okay, so, you know, you started flirting with this person. You develop feelings. You feel safe with this person. You feel like you could trust them. You feel happy with them. So that's where you're going, Aquarius. God bless. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekend love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for July 17th through the 19th. So we have service. All right, Gemini. So there could be some talk here on, you know, give and take. Maybe someone here is a little too selfish. Maybe someone here is a little bit, a little too much about themselves and maybe we're growing spiritually um maybe we're going through a little bit of a renewal here and expressing gratitude you know what i'm saying uh and servicing others all right so this weekend for you may be about giving rather than taking gemini spirit what messages do we have here for my gemini's clarity guidance love messages for my gemini's or if this could be what your person's going through i don't know so we have the eight of wands and we have the Lover's card, Gemini Energy. We have the Six of Wands. We have the High Priestess, Cancer Piscean Energy. We have the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo Energy. And we have the Strength card, Leo Energy. Under the deck, we have the Five of Swords, the Nine of Cups, the King of Swords. Okay, so we have a lot of communication happening here. We have a lot of communication happening here about somebody wanting things to be even. Like, I'm looking for my perfect counterpart. I'm looking for somebody to match my energy, okay? Gemini energy here, okay? Now, with the Six of Wands and the High Priestess, um, this person wants to win you over, okay? This person wants to win you over, um, but with the high priest there, I feel like there's a sense of mystery where they don't know how, okay? So this person may put up a front of like this confident front of, yes, I can do what you need me to do. Yes, I got you. I'm going to do this, but they have no freaking idea what to do to make you happy, okay? I mean, that's just the bottom line there. Um, with the nine of pentacles, Virgo energy, and the strength card, Leo energy, I feel that one person here is very abundant. One person here is just, you know, very independent, very, um, 
you know, just has their shit together, right? And I feel like they're going to pull back a little bit until they see this happening, okay? But what's going to happen here is somebody here is just going to give up and walk away because this Knight of Cups has no idea how to give the love that this person is asking for because they are the King of Swords. You cannot ask somebody who is an, you know, if, if somebody here is more of a logical person than a romantic person, if someone here, you know, air signs and water signs, there, there is a difference for a reason, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like somebody is requiring somebody to be more romantic, more loving when they are, you know, King of Swords, Gemini energy. So I feel like somebody's just going to give up because it's just not good enough. There's not a, enough love or enough attention. You know, this person just doesn't feel like they're getting, you know, they're getting their share in this relationship. All right. So Gemini, you know, you take that as it resonates. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Geminis, please? So we've got past life relationship. You have known each other before. We have let your friends help you. And we have unrequited love. Okay, so Gemini, I feel like this is somebody from the past. Oh, wow. I feel like this is someone from the past coming back. You may have already left this person because, you know, you weren't getting the love that you deserve. So you're put, you put yourself first here. And now this person... Um, Maybe they've went to friends, family members to figure out how to show love because with unrequited love, I don't feel like this person doesn't love you. I just feel that they don't know how to show it. Like they don't know how to release that chemistry or have that. I'm kind of getting like this is somebody that doesn't know how to rev up the engine before they go. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like this, some, this is not someone who knows how to romance or butter someone up. It's just like, okay, lay down. We're doing this. You know what I'm saying? Somebody very methodical, you know? And I feel like somebody here may have been, you know, asking friends, family, like, what does this person want from me? Because I have no idea what the hell they want. Okay. All right, guys. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekend love reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for July 17th through the 19th. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what clarity and guidance do we have here for my... Ooh, miracles, Libra. That is nice. It was like some miracle joy and passion and balance. Ooh, guys, so you may be pushing someone away today, okay, because you know your worth, you know you're better than that, you don't need that crap in your life. You may be meeting someone today that is your perfect counterpart that balances you out. There's a perfect balance between uh, fun and laughter and passion, and you, you may just feel like you, it's a miracle, like you've met the one, you know. Holy Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here today for my Libras, please? Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Libras, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits, and guides. So we have the Two of Cups. That's a beautiful soulmate energy. We have the Seven of Wands. We have the Four of Wands. Wow, that is a divinely guided soulmate. And we have the Three of Pentacles. So right off the bat, guys, this is, uh, wow. I mean, this is this is a relationship that's built to overcome. This is a, a, a divinely guided connection with a solid foundation. You know how like you always hear that tower falling because something wasn't built on a solid foundation? This is the exact opposite. This is a connection that will never fall because the foundation is so strong, okay? Ace of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, I'm done. With the star under the deck, <laughs> like really? Ace of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. We've got Aquarian energy here. The star under the deck, the Nine of Cups. All right, this is crazy. This is just absolute wish fulfillment. Libra, all your dreams are coming true today. End of discussion. <laughs> Okay, you got a miracle falling out of the sky today. I don't know what to tell you. This weekend, you guys are going to meet someone really, really special. All right, I mean, God bless. It's beautiful. All right, Holy Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Libras, please? Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Libras. Yeah, this is the person that you're going to marry. I don't know what to tell you. Like, this is stay optimistic. If you're down and out now, you'll be married by Tuesday. Yeah, I mean, this is just disgusting, Libra. Get a room already. Yeah. Flirt, passion, uh, okay, flirt, passion, I mean, true love, stay optimistic, wedding, Libra, dude, just start looking for wedding revenues now, that's it, okay, you'll be married by August, I love you, bye, <laughs> hello my loves, welcome to your weekend love reading for July 17th through the 19th for Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs, holy spirit, angel spirits, and guides, what, okay, we have service that popped out, Leo, 
So you guys maybe have been doing a lot for others, okay? And maybe someone sees you as perfect and they're thankful. They want to show their appreciation, okay? So either somebody is doing something for you, Leo, and you want to show your appreciation and your love and tell them how perfect they are, or vice versa. Maybe you're getting some love in this weekend. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, for clarity and guidance. What love messages do we have here for my Leos? We have the Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. We have the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, and the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. All right. We have the Nine of Wands and the Four of Cups. Okay. So we have someone here that is very abundant is what's happening here. We have someone here that's very abundant. They make a lot of money. Maybe they own a house, a car. They just have a lot, okay? And with that queen of swords, somebody here has now come into the energy where they're feeling like they need to protect themselves and their abundance, maybe because they feel like they're being taken advantage of because that's usually an energy of I don't trust you. And we have a queen of pentacles here with a page of cups. Now, it's kind of surprising because the queen of pentacles generally does stand on their own. We could be dealing with a single parent here with the queen of pentacles and a child um maybe this person is in it for the money maybe we're dealing with a gold digger here maybe we're dealing with somebody that wants to be the queen of pentacles um because i feel like they're more about the money and less about the love you see what i'm saying with that page of cups they're given very little love and it's just more about the money you understand and with the nine of wands and the four of cups someone here is pouting because you know they had their debit card taken away or they had something taken away here they're being blocked from something so they're pouting about it under the deck we have the seven of pentacles and the king of wands leo energy with the seven of pentacles this is you not wanting to repeat past mistakes with the three of swords and the four of swords somebody here broke your heart leo somebody here broke your heart um, with the Three of Swords, yeah, there may have been a third party, Gemini energy here with the Lover's Card and the Eight of Wands. But I feel, no, I feel like someone here is rushing in to tell you how amazing you are. You're not really, you're kind of shocked, okay? Aries Scorpionic energy with the Tower there. This person is rushing in, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy to tell you that you're, they, you know, you're their soulmate, you're perfect, you're everything, you know what I'm saying? You're, you're my perfect person. But with the Eight of Swords and the Six of Pentacles and the Page of Swords, you see the truth for what it is here, Leo. You know that this is still going to be an imbalanced connection. You're not going to get that pain out of your head. You're not going to get what this person did to you. You're not going to just forget about it. You know what I'm saying? With that King of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles, you're like, I, I don't know. Are you really my Queen of Pentacles? I'm not really sure. Like, I'm not really sure about this. So you have someone coming in today to basically, or not today, this weekend, you have someone coming in this weekend to butter you up, Leo, but you're kind of weary about it. You're not really falling for the mushy, gushy, gooiness. Spirit, what messages do we have here? So we have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. We have past life relationships. So this could be a past life karmic. Okay. And we have new love. So this, this past life karmic is coming in with, oh yeah. <laughs> oh man. We have this past life karmic that is coming in with all this mushy, gushy. They're not acting like themselves. They never show you this type of love and, att and attention. Okay. They're showing all these romantic, mushy, gushy, gooey feelings and spirit is telling you get the hell out of there because this person does not love you. I'm telling you, this is less about the love, more about the money. Okay. I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekend love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for July 17th through the 19th. Holy Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have today for my Aries, please? So acceptance. Okay, Aries. So maybe you're accepting an apology or Maybe you're accepting an ending here, okay? Maybe someone here, maybe, you know, you're saying, listen, I'm accepting the fact that I gave too much to this and I have to end it because I'm giving too much of myself and not getting anything in return, which is a big sign of growth. Or it could be your person, okay? It could be your person that's releasing because somebody here is releasing. Someone here is growing. They're realizing their worth and they're accepting the fact that they are giving too much out of a connection and it's not good. They can't do that. It's too imbalanced. So Aries, I don't know. That could be you that's having a spiritual ascension here. You're experiencing some growth and knowing your worth or it could be your person. Spirit, what messages do we have here? 
So we have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Sun, Leo energy. And we have the Ten of Swords, wow. We have Temperance, Sagittarian energy. And we have the King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. All right, guys, we've got the Four of Cups, the Nine of Wands, the Death card, the Moon, and the Two of Swords. All right, so yeah, someone here has moved on. Someone here has moved on. They're very successful. They're happy. They're moving on to a prosperous new beginning, okay? And the other person here, Leo Energy, is just now starting to gain understanding that this is really over. Someone here is just starting to accept that this really is not coming back together. Okay. With temperance and the king of wands, I feel that, you know, Aries, you might just be taking some deep breaths and trying to stay calm about this. If you're the one who's being left, or if you're the one who's leaving and you're the one who's victorious here, you know, you're in peace. You have no issues with the four of cups, the nine of wands and the death card. Someone here is being rejected there. Someone is putting a wall up with the death card, scorpionic energy. This is over with the moon card and the two of swords yeah someone here you know thought for a minute there that this wasn't real cancer piscean energy yeah we always cut each other off or whatever that's fine but i feel that someone here is serious this time they're speaking truth king of swords someone here is being honest and saying nope i don't want this anymore all right so let's see here holy spirit what clarity and guidance what love messages do we have here for my Aries, Holy Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Aries, Holy Spirit? So we have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. We have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And we have wedding. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. So I feel like someone here is moving on to have a really successful relationship. They're moving on to a new relationship that's going to end in commitment and a wedding. And someone here is going to be dying of jealousy. Just someone's pissed. Okay. Someone's just pissed. Um, someone, I, I feel like the problem here is, is that someone can't accept that this is ending. Okay. So you place yourself as a residence. I love you guys. Bye. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekend love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for July 17th through the 19th. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what clarity and guidance do we have from my Sagittarians? Hassad, oh, Sag, what's going on here? Someone here is lying about something. Someone here is lying about having money. Someone here may be bragging about how much money they have, but it is not true, Sag. It is not true. Someone here may be saying that they're loaded when, in fact, they are not. Holy Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Sagittarius, please? Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity, guidance, love, ooh, ooh, love messages for my Sag. We just had the King of Wands that wanted to pop out. I'm getting someone boast about the money that they have. We have the Six of Cups here. And we have the Ace of Wands. We have the Four of Swords, and we have the Star. We have the High Priestess, the High Priest, excuse me, the Hierophant, Taurus Energy, and the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra Energy. We have the Two of Pentacles, the Judgment card, the Three of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords. Okay, so I feel like someone here just got out of a relationship, could have been a marriage, but someone here is leaving the past behind completely and starting a whole new beginning, okay? Now, we have this person here who's just in peace, hunky-dory, you know, Four of Swords, you know, on the couch, just relaxing, the star, thinking that they've got it made, that their wishes are being fulfilled, that everything is good here. But I feel like this High Priest and this Knight of Swords, someone here is claiming to be very stable. That high priestess is very, that high priest is very stable. Okay. Someone here is pretending to be very stable when in fact with the knight of swords, um, 
the Knight of Swords was very dramatic, very loud, very whatever, but it's someone who's here, it's smoke and mirrors type of energy, right? Okay, it's not real. With the Two of Pentacles, this person's finances are actually very up and down. With the Three of Pentacles and the Judgment card, um, this person is working really hard right now on trying to build a, a business, and they are, I feel, making a judgment call that the business will make a lot of money, but are they really sure? No, not really with the Two of Swords. You know what I'm saying? This person doesn't have as much money as they're saying that they do. So if someone is claiming to be rich, they're broke. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Sag? So we've got release your ex. We have romantic feelings. We have this could be the one under the deck. Yeah. All right. So see, I feel like maybe this person went broke because they divorced somebody or because they released an ex. Um, you know, they fell in love, Sag, so they do love you, but they released someone from the past. Yeah, someone here left the other person for you. They trusted you, um, but I feel like there's a big surprise coming in here, okay? So I feel like there's love, but there ain't no money, okay? I love you guys. Bye.